Welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda. Today I'm out in my garden and I have a few projects that I want to take care of. We've been getting a lot of rain here on the homestead and y'all, I am loving the rain. And first thing I want to do because it's been raining so much is I want to go ahead and put out some uh, fertilizer. Just give my plants a feeding because I know they've been getting kind of washed out from all the rain. But I want to show you all some other things that I have uh, purchased online and i have some uh elephant garlic that i purchased so y'all it is time to go ahead and start ordering your garlic if you want to uh have garlic next season you know you want to plant it in the fall for uh which you'll be harvesting it uh next year so that's what it's kind of hard for a lot of people to uh get started on growing garlic because it's just hard for them to imagine that they have to wait those uh months you know uh to have a harvest but that is just the way that garlic grows. I purchased some um, elephant garlic online. I ordered it off of Amazon. And this is the same place that I got my elephant garlic last year. And the elephant garlic did pretty good in my uh, garden this year. And I ordered two of them. And so, uh, as you can see, these are some big cloves because it is elephant garlic. It is not exactly like your uh, regular taste. I purchased this from Amazon, but... Uh, I also purchased some from um, King. I ordered some regular garlic from King. Here my garlic came from the grocery store. So it was a okay harvest. I was, you know, very thankful for the harvest, but I think that that harvest could have been much better if I had a reputable organic uh, garlic uh, bulb to start with. With that said, I'm going to move on and I'm going to show you all some of the other things that I need to get done today. As I said, I'm going to um, get my fish emulsion out and I'm going to um, put it in some of my rainwater and I'm going to uh, distribute it throughout my garden because I know that these plants have been getting washed out and they're probably uh, have zero uh, fish emulsion in them. They may still have some, of, well, I'm sure they have some of the slow release fertilizer still on them. So I'm not going to put any of that on there. But I do want to just go ahead and just give them a boost since they have been um, getting rain on for, I mean, like two weeks straight. So uh, let's get started, guys. Okay, so before I get started on my uh, fertilizing, I want to go ahead and put my steaks. Well, I got them, the steaks already in. I want to go ahead and uh, tie my tomatoes to the steaks. It don't seem like I really um, pruned this one that good. I thought I pruned them all yesterday, but this one doesn't look like it got pruned. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to remove a few of these. I'm going to leave the one that has the tomato at the bottom. Obviously, I did not do this one. So I am going to go ahead and get it. If I can get it for all these weeds, y'all, the weeds are everywhere. So I don't want to put any fertilizer on them today. I want to make sure I miss the weeds with the fertilizer. Don't need to put anything on them because they are doing a great job on their own. Let me take some of these. There are some tomatoes at the top, so I want to make sure that I leave those. This is a sucker, so I'll go ahead and take that and it came out and this one this is I'm going to go ahead and leave this one because even though it's a sucker I'm going to leave it because it's got some nice tomatoes well I'll just go ahead and take it oh, that's kind of stressing this plant and this plant don't look that great as it is so I am going to um Turn it around. Put the steak back in there. And then I'm just going to tie this over here. Those two off. And it's very humid out today, y'all. But I went ahead and um, I put on a double layer 
And so it is extra humid to me, but I cannot come out here without a double layer on because the mosquitoes are so bad. So I would rather be a little warm for a while than to come out here and these mosquitoes use me for a uh, all you can eat buffet. I just don't want to do that. So now that one is staked up. If you all can see that. It is staked up. So now I just go ahead and put some tape on my other tomato plants that I have added <laughs> stakes to it too. There are still some do not have these stakes. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves back on because as I mentioned to you uh, several times, these stakes have splinters. Hopefully this won't take too long. We're just I'm not just gonna put a lot. I'm just gonna may need to put one more at the bottom so that it does not fall down. Yeah, it might seem like I'm using a lot of this Velcro tape, but I always reuse this. That's one good thing about the Velcro tape, it's reusable. because it was going to be very heavy even just lifting it up out of the rain barrel so it's probably four gallons so i'm going to put approximately eight tablespoons in this one and this one's a two gallon so one two 
Gallons. One, two, three, four. Now, gotta find something to mix it with because I didn't bring anything out here with me. So, just gonna use what I got. Probably not gonna stir it up all that great, but. Well, it's really not going to stand up that great now because I done broke it. But I can get, no, it's not going to work. Okay, y'all, give me a moment. Okay, I found something, and I'm going to use this again. But y'all, wind and rain has beat these things up so much, this one's left with one little petal. So you just want to stir it in really good. Get it mixed up. And thanks to one of my subscribers giving me the uh, idea to just go ahead when I'm using my watering can to uh, bring my five gallon bucket along so that I can have my extra uh, water and fertilizer and won't have to do all that walking back and forth. So thanks, Elwanda. <laughs> okay, y'all, but you know what? I still have some more plants that I need to tie up. And I really want to go ahead and get those done because I didn't realize it. But if I don't do that, y'all, it could take me several days before I get back out here to do it because I go and work in another area. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go ahead and get these tomato plants on the stake. See that there are This is what the fat worm looks like. So if y'all know what that is, let me know. I guess it's just a worm though, but I'm gonna put him over here and see if I can keep him for the chicken. I'm gonna lay him on my wagon. Okay, so I really need to at least remove some of those suckers from it. Now that fishy muslin is really strong. Okay, I'm gonna take some of these suckers off of this plant. But this plant is really looking, it's, it's looking, the sucker, one of the suckers looks so good that I am tempted to just remove all of this off this plant. Cause suckers will grow, we already know that. And this plant is all been over. Y'all, this is gonna be an experiment. This is the leader, but it was horrible looking. So we're gonna remove that leader. We're gonna remember which plant this is, and we're gonna we're gonna start growing this sucker, continuing to grow this sucker as the leader. So this plant has a new leader, which is a sucker. And then we'll remove some of these off of it. And we'll just leave this plant just like this. So right now the plant, 
okay without a state. Okay, and this plant has a leader that looks bad also. The sucker looks better. The sucker has a tomato, but I am going to leave this plant on the, I'm gonna leave the leader. I'm gonna remove the sucker with the tomato. That tomato is really green, but I'm tempted to take it inside just to see if it will um, do anything. This broccoli is going to seed. but I am going to trim it back and see if it will still send me off some nice side shoots to eat. Cause broccoli is one of my favorite vegetables and I would like to harvest some off of this plant. Okay, so this is a sucker. And all this belongs to the leader, but as I said, this leader does not look very good, but I am going to um, try and train it around this. Uh-oh. It's broke. It is broke. So, I'm going to remove this plant. This plant is coming out. Take my tape and there's another one. Does not have a state. Two, three. Well, one has a state, one does not. At least one has a stake and two does not. And this is the one has the stake. So I'm gonna start removing And this cabbage, some of it looks horrible. Go ahead and get some of that out right now. Just remove some of these horrible looking leaves. Uh, the, the plant itself is still thriving. I've got a lot of debris to pick up want to give everybody a nice drink of this fishy mold. Y'all, I am getting some, I think this is a uh, Kushaw squash right here. I'll show you guys. Okay, there is the Kushaw squash that has started to grow. Finally, patty pan squash is growing.
so cute to me. And there is, oh my, there is a thick green and white one, y'all. I got, okay, can y'all see that? That is so cute. There's another white one. Feel like I got a lot of these white ones. I want to have a whole lot of other ones also. So I guess I'm just gonna have to be patient to see what else I'm gonna get. But I want to. And that back in there, y'all, it look those look like patty pan squash. I think there may be some patty pan squash in there with those seeds. And I think I'm gonna get in there and get them. Cause uh I could eat those today. I'm gonna go get those. So let me see if I can get them. Okay, y'all, I got those. I think those are patty pan squash. I'm going to find out in a minute because I'm going to take them in the house. I'm fixing to cut them. Okay, you guys. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that you would give the video a thumbs up, that you would subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.